Now, I'd like to highlight to you how SQL account can do a bad debt recover in compliance to Custom Malaysia bad debt recovered rule. First, when we do a GST return, let's say right now it's between October to December 2015, and there is a bad debt relief both on the claimable sales side as well as the payable supplier side. Once a GST return is done, then we can proceed to process the coming GST return. As mentioned, these customers are actually not bad debtors. It's merely that their payment has been delayed to more than six months. In this case, we already claim for relief and payable for relief. So what is going to happen when they, the customer pay back? In this case, we will use this as an example where 5,300 the customer decides to pay in 1st of January 2016. To make things a little bit more challenging, we are even going to do this again because there is a balance payment. So we did a partial payment on 1st of January and a partial payment or in fact a full payment in 1st of February. Let's give it a check number and we can save this document in the 1st of February. The same thing can be said on the supplier side where we will decide for example over here to knock off an invoice in the 1st of February. When I press on save then it's done and of course to make it more challenging again we do a partial payment on the 1st of March 2016 for this amount. What we like to see in the GST return is the fact that because payment now has been made, we will be able to do a GST recovered from both customer side as well as supplier side. Go to GST, new GST return. We are going to process between the month of January to March. When we press on the process button, as you can clearly see, the payment is now highlighted and for two documents on one invoice as well. 5003, the recovered tax is 228 and for 5001, the recovered tax is 221. Add up together, it's exactly the 450 GST amount from the total invoice value of 10,450. This one, now that we have recovered as bad debt from bad debt, we will need to pay custom. But on the purchasing side, as you can see here, there is a GST relief recovered as well. So in this case, this payment on the February, we managed to recover 5,300 and therefore the GST input we can claim back is 300 ringgit. Let's press on the button and the system will automatically generate it for you and of course fill up the form for you as well in GST03. If you look at your GST03, it will be clearly highlighted to you on item number 8. In this case, actually there is no uh, claimable, therefore it's on item 7 which is payable. And if you scroll further down, you will be able to see that debt recovered at 10,450 ringgit. Everything is automatically done by the system. No human intervention is required.